Before we get into the video, don't forget to check out my second channel, Fantasia Plays. I play Sims over there too, and I would love to see you there. Hey guys, it's Fantasia, and welcome to a Sims 4 discussion video. So today I'm going to be talking about the possibility and just the whole idea of a hotel and resorts pack in The Sims 4. So this has not been, you know, confirmed or hinted at in any way. I just wanted to talk about it today and the possibility of getting one. And I just think it would be so amazing in The Sims 4 as a game pack. And I really hope it's something we get. Um, so I definitely think this is, this is something they could make, but we don't have any hints towards it really that I've seen anyways but now the whole idea of having you know any world be a vacation world with the recent update we're able to have vacation homes or rental homes in any world and I feel like if they would add hotels and resorts in a game pack it would just up that even more with giving us the ability to have hotels and resorts in any world I think it would make it just so much better when it comes to the vacation experience because rental homes are a little bit they're a little bit meh. Um, so we're going to talk about the ideas that I have today, but first we're going to do our notification Fanticorn fam shout out. So this one goes to Sims Kiwi. I love you so much too. And thank you so much for your comment and the love. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification Fanticorn fam shout out, all you got to do is come down below on any video. You can comment anything you want, or you can come with some unicorn emojis and turn your notifications on. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get right into this. So first of all, you guys, this has been something that I was so hoping that was going to come with island living and when it didn't i was really upset about it that was like the one thing i was hoping for so much and like i do really like that pack but mostly because of the world and i think that's a little bit sad so now that we can have rental homes in any world i'm like yes i can use island living more because i can make the whole thing into a vacation world i literally just deleted all the residential lots and put all rental lots in my off-camera family i just put all rental lots in there i put like some more fun lots i put some new beach lots and everything like that and just made it what i wanted it to be <laughs> so just the only thing that's missing now is actual hotel and resorts. So we're going to go through a list I made. So basically the first thing I would love is just, uh, I feel like we all would love this is just having, having it be detailed and realistic, not just like these, you know, just super boring hotels and resorts, kind of the way rental homes are. Like, I don't want them like that at all. I want them to have all these little details, which I'm going to go into like some things I would love to see. And like I just mentioned, I definitely would want to see hotels and resorts in every world. So even if we got a game, pack for hotels and resorts that are super detailed and we didn't get a new world as long as we can have hotels and resorts in every single world and they have the little details and just everything like that I would be okay with that I feel like we don't need a new world with a game pack about resorts and hotels I feel like it's not necessary however I do have a little idea if they did give us a new world so if they threw a new world in there which I don't know if that'd be a good or bad thing because in on one end they could give us the world that there's a lot of things to do something like a world that we don't really have anything like which I'm going to explain my idea but also on the other end I'm worried if they gave us a new world then they would kind of just not put in the detail with the hotels and resorts and they would be kind of lacking and just somewhere our sims can go spend the night at which is not what I want because then what's the point what's the point <laughs> so if they did give us a new world though I would love to see something like Niagara Falls and if you guys don't know what Niagara Falls is so I'm in Canada and that is somewhere that I would go on vacation to almost every year. So I don't really know how to explain Niagara Falls, but basically, I mean, the falls are there. So there's beautiful falls. It's just so pretty. You can go like uh, ride a big boat underneath the falls. There is so much to do there. So there is like millions of different food places. There's arcades. There's not rides, but there is like a a big, it's kind of like, if you got, I'm not gonna just go into detail too much because you guys might have no idea what I'm talking about if you've never been there or never heard of this place. So it's kind of like a big Ferris wheel, but you're like closed in and it's more for like looking at everything. So it's huge. And like when you get onto it, you can just like see so much of Niagara Falls. You can see the falls, you can see just everything. They have like really cool um, mini putt. So like golf basically, <laughs> um, but they're like really cool. So there's like glow in the dark golf. There is like um, there's one where it's all set up where it's like a whole scenic thing. There's like, uh, 
you know, fake dinosaurs and everything like that, and like a volcano, and you're just literally going through the whole thing, playing mini golf. There's cool restaurants like the Rainforest Cafe. If you don't know what that is, look that up. It'd be really cool to have cool restaurants like that. There is all these like stores that you can go into that have like, you know, things that you would want to buy to like remember your stay there. Like there's just items that you can't really find anywhere else that you would want to buy as like a souvenir. So I think it'd be cool if there was like souvenir shops and you know, like mini golf, like I said, and then like just, I don't know. It is just, there's always something to do there. Arcades, all these just little shops you can go into. There's like things that happen at night where you can go and just have a good time. There's like little shows, um, everything like that. So I think it'd be really cool if we got a world where there's just something going on at all times. Also casinos. So there is casinos there. And I think that would be really cool. Um, if that was included in a world. So if we did get a world, it'd be cool to see, it's cool to see something like that because I feel like it's different than what we do have. Um, it's just a different sort of vacation feel, you know? Another thing, I did mention like having like cool different restaurants instead of just the basic restaurants. However, obviously that might be a little iffy because there is a dine out pack. So some people might not like if they included restaurants and uh, ho hotels and resorts pack. So in that case, I would say the perfect thing may be buffets. So I think it'd be cool if we got buffets. I believe that was in The Sims 3 Island Paradise. We had buffets at the resorts, I'm pretty sure, yeah, um, and they were really cool. Um, so I think that'd be so fun if there was buffets like in the hotels, at the resorts. Also, of course, like a whole ch check-in and check-out system, like you have to check in at the front desk. You have to like stay how long, put, it, put in how long you want to stay for, and you know, there's a check-out time. You can check out early, you can check out late. All that, side, all that sort of stuff. And then it would be also cool if there was specific things that the hotels and resorts offer. Like, you know, if you stay at a specific resort, they like offer things and you have discounts on things. So there's like a little pamphlet that your Sims are given and you get like, you know, just a little discount on something here and there. I think that'd be really cool just depending on which hotel or resort you stay at. And then another thing is room service. You know, you can call room service, get some food delivered to your room or whatever you want. You need some more towels or something. It'd be cool if you like needed towels delivered to your room. I know, or that would probably never happen because we don't even need towels in The Sims 4, but it would just be cool. But the whole like room service when it comes to ordering food, I definitely think that could be a thing for real. I think we saw that before in The Sims 2 Bon Voyage. I swear there was room service so you can get food to your bedroom. Maybe I'm wrong, but that was one of my favorite packs and I feel like I distinctly remember that. <laughs> and then the next thing that I would love to see is hotel room keys. You know, you're given a room key and you need to keep that room key um, so you can get into your hotel room and if you lose it, then you can't get in and maybe you have to go get a new one and everything like that. Another thing that I think would be cool is introducing a credit card system with this type of pack. And I say that because I feel like it would be the perfect way for your Sims to be able to like apply for a credit card and then they can go on vacation with that credit card if they like don't have enough money saved up. I just think it would be the perfect opportunity to include something like that. And I feel like we need more ways of like spending money and stuff like that. Like we, I don't know, we just, we, we literally just have like our one simoleons for the whole family. And I just, I don't know, I don't like it. <laughs> so I think this would be a great way to have Sims have like different money. And I mean, we don't have bank accounts and all that. I mean, there's mods and stuff, but you know, I feel like a bank accounts and all of that wouldn't really necessarily make sense for like a hotels pack. I mean, they could, but I think a credit card system would make a lot of sense for like this type of pack. So I think that would be cool. And then the next thing, kind of random, but like a swim up bar. So like a bar that's in the pool. I've always wanted this. I really thought we would also get something like this in Island Living, but that pack just didn't really offer the things that I thought it was going to offer. It has that beautiful tropical world and then that's pretty much it. Like, I mean, that's pretty much the only thing in the pack that I wanted. <laughs> like, I love the whole, like, playing in the sand. I love the dolphins, all of that. Like, I like more things in the pack. I had fun in my Let's Play, but, like, I, like, ran out of things to do, which really sucked. It just didn't really feel like a big enough expansion. So, it's just, there's all these things that I thought we were going to get in a tropical type pack that we just didn't. I thought we were going to get, like, a real tropical vacation experience, and they just didn't go that route, and it really sucks. So, yeah, swim up bars. That would be so cool. And then the ability to run a resort, of course. So, not only can we stay in them, also run them. I think that'd be so fun. And your resort can be like a one star to five star. You can get reviews. Um, you can have to, you know, get employees and they have to like stock the buffet and they have to, 
make sure they're doing room service and all of that. And like, I just think it'd be so cool. Um, and it in challenging. So I think that would be fun. And then also own a hotel, I think would be really fun as well. And then another perfect thing they could add here is water slides. So I don't necessarily want this to be like a tropical pack. Like I just wanted to have hotels and resorts and we can have them anywhere. And I mean, if we did get a world, the world that I explained isn't even like tropical, but a lot of people go swimming on vacation. Like, you know, you have a pool in your resort, you have a pool in your hotel. And I think it would just be cool if there was water slides because like, where, where's the water slide that though? Like it's been way too long. We need water slides. And going along with that is pool games, like pool volleyball, uh, Marco Polo, just more things to do in the pool. I feel like the pools are so boring. <laughs> so I would love to see more pool games. I think that'd be so much fun, especially for the kids. And then also like different styles of hotels and resorts. So like example, run down motels. So instead of like a hotel, it could be like a motel. Your sims can go stay there for a night or two. Uh, then also fancy luxury hotels. And then also like, you know, one star, five star, cheap, expensive, just different options, you know, different styles. And of course, like a, a cleaning staff, um, you know, like someone knocks on your door every day to come and clean your room up. And it'd be cool if they actually clean it. Like you can make a mess and they'll clean it. <laughs> and then, um, Oh, another thing is like when you get to the hotel, it would be cool if like, you know, the mini fridge is like stocked with stuff and you have to pay for that stuff, you know? Usually if you eat the food or the drinks in the hotel room, you have to like pay for that. Um, so that would be cool. And then like p pay for like the hotel room movies. So like maybe there's like different TVs, not just like the classic TVs that we have. Maybe there's like a new TV that comes with the pack and there's different options on there and you have to like pay for the movies like you to rent them, you know? I also think it would be neat if there was hotel rooms. Like, you know, if you go to like a rundown hotel, I think it'd be cool if there was bed bugs, ants, leaking sink or shower. And then you can complain about it. I think that would be really neat. Um, and I mean, you're, I can just imagine the Sims being so frustrated and stressed out about that. And we need that. So drama. Second thing also adding to drama is hotel parties, like a new party type. That's like a hotel room party. And I don't know why I want this, but I just like imagine like young adults, like 18 year olds, just, you know, going to this resort with their friends, staying in a hotel and like drinking when they're not supposed to because they're like, they're only 18 and like, <laughs> Um, just like throwing a hotel room party and it's like really loud and, th and then this is where they can introduce cops It would be really cool if the police can show up and like try to stop the party and everything like that I think that'd be a perfect opportunity to introduce stuff like that Like police showing up at parties and you know everything like that And then that can be incorporated with other with other packs like police showing up at like a nightclub and stuff I think that'd be super great and then of course maids we talked about like having someone come and clean your room already, but just like, you know, having like specific maids that are for hotels and resorts that act a little bit different. Um, and then, okay. Next thing is heart shaped beds from the Sims one, you know, those heart shaped beds, just look it up. Heart shaped bed from the Sims one. It vibrates everything like that. It gives your just Sims a different mood. I think that'd be perfection for hotel rooms. Great. Sims can go there on their honeymoon. It just great. <laughs> and then, um, as I already mentioned, just like things to do around the hotel, like buffet, arcades. That's pretty much the last thing I wanted to talk about is arcades. I feel like it'd be really fun if there was like an actual arcade lot type and arcades within the hotels and resorts. So just like something for your Sims to go and do, you know, I would love that. I want like actual arcades and casinos. So I mentioned casinos previously, but that could be like the new lot type. New lot, lot types <laughs> is arcades and casinos and maybe even like a buffet lot type as well. Like we can have buffets within the hotels and stuff, but also like you can go to a buffet and it's like a whole building. So I think that'd be so cool. And I mean, if they gave us three new lot types and like the heart shaped bed and like all this stuff, I would imagine they wouldn't give us a world, but like that would be okay because we could literally make Newcrest into this whole cool, cool place with like arcades 
and casinos, buffets, all this fun stuff, put, fill it up with resorts and hotels, and literally transform Newcrest. You could transform any world. Like, it would just be so fun. I would definitely be transforming Sulani um, and just filling it up with the resorts and hotels, arcades. Like, just, oh my god, it would be so cool. Guys, I would be so, so cool. And your Sims can go and gamble at a casino. We had that in The Sims 3. It was a fun time for The Sims. Like, it's just fun for Sims to go and do. Um, so, I think all that would be so cool. And, like, the swim up bars, you guys. I miss that. So, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. Comment down below what you like from my ideas and any other ideas that you have for like a hotels and resorts pack and I just feel like at this point it's something we need. I've thought about this before but just it's something we just we really need to see. It, it doesn't make any sense why we just have rental lots like I don't know we just need it and there's been so many times when I've pretended that my sims are going to hotel and it just it's not the same because they're just on this random generic lot and like you can't actually rent the rooms. It's just it's a mess. I just I want like functional hotels and resorts and I think it'd be really cool if they worked like The Sims 2. The Sims 2 had Bon Voyage and I was obsessed with that pack. Island Living though, amazing though for the resorts in The Sims 3. So I would love to see like similar resorts but better um, as The Sims 3. Similar to those but just more improved and then it would be really cool if we got hotels that were more like The Sims 2. I just remember staying in this hotel in The Sims 2 Bon Voyage and I just loved it. So, but obviously improved because obviously now we're literally in 2020 and I think they'd be better. Um, so I would love to see something like that. So if you guys want a game pack like that, comment down below if you've thought about this as well. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here and I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so, so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can't get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much